Hi everyone, welcome back. I remember a friend of mine once had a dog that was a bull terrier. And this type of dog's got very, very strong jaws. Very tough animal indeed. And at the bottom of the garden, there was a, a rope suspended from a tree. And on the end of the rope, there was a, a tire from a motor car. And this dog would jump on this tire, take hold of it with his teeth, and just hang there for hours. He refused to let go. And you know, I've never forgotten that picture. And it speaks to me and reminds me of the perseverance that you and I, we need to have. That determination in our service of the Lord. Now, if I'm going to persevere, if I'm going to be determined, to accomplish something, I need to make sure that it's not of my doing or my plan, my desire, but it is of the Lord. In Psalm 106, we read how the people of Israel, they were so persistent in wanting something from God that the Bible says that God gave them their request and sent leanness unto their soul. In other words, it was not what God wanted for their life. And what they desired and determined to accomplish had detrimental effect for them. So there are people, for instance, young people who want to get married and they're so determined to marry that boy or to marry that girl, not realizing that in their determination they get what they want, but it's the last thing that God had planned and purposed for them. So if I'm going to persevere, I must persevere for the things that God has purposed for my life. That's why Paul says in Philippians chapter 3, One thing I do, I forget the things that are behind, and I press forward for those things that are lie ahead. I take hold. That's what he uses, the expression, I take hold of what God has planned and purposed for me. The book of Hebrews reminds us to hold fast the confession of our hope. Too often we're looking for the result and we're not looking for what God wants to do and accomplish. That's the attitude we need to have. James says, blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial and stands in these times of testing, for he will receive the crown of life. So whatever God has purposed, be determined. One thing I know is he desires for you to be transformed into his image. And he has many situations that will come your way and challenges that will come your way. Do not be distracted, but be determined to keep your heart well. Be determined to keep your heart pure. Be determined to persevere and see that God's purpose is accomplished in you. May the Lord help us all. God bless.